everyone, welcome. Today I'm sharing with you a very rustic and farmhouse style thrift and garage sale haul. I went out this past weekend with my little three month old and we hit up some great sales. So now I'm going to share with you what I found. So the first item I found was at a um, thrift store. It was at Goodwill and it was this candle holder. Now it has some nice patina on it, some pretty fancy designs. I was so excited to find this. There were three of them together. Um, and I just picked up one because I have an idea where I want to put it and I really like the like scalloped edges there and it was $1.75. And also at that same Goodwill, this was like a spur of the moment, I'm going to grab this find. It's kind of rusty so I'm going to just show it to you. Um, I'll insert a clip here but I was so excited to find this scale. And it has some worn look. Um, I don't know if it's actually vintage or not. It looks like it. It was $8, but I am so excited to find this. I don't even know where I'm going to put it because I like to have my counters kind of clutter free. But hey, this is such my style and maybe I'll put it in my little corner of my kitchen. Let me know where you think I can put it if you've been a follower of mine for a while and you know what my kitchen or places look like in my house. Cause I don't know where I want to put it. But anyways, I was so excited to find that and I was okay paying $8. Okay, at a garage sale, I found these two prayer willow tree figurines. I really like the willow tree and I think they'll be great gifts. Um, it's Angel of Prayer, the two exact same ones. I thought this would be perfect for my mom or a teacher friend or something like that. And she had them marked at 50 cents a piece but she also had this gardening sign that she had made a long time ago and it was just kind of awesome that she had made this. She had 75 cents on that, but she gave me all three items for a dollar. So I thought that was pretty fun um, and she had painted this herself, like I said. So fun to find this and I'll hang it outside near one of my gardens. Right, at an estate sale we went to, I found this fun basket. It's got some dead bugs and some dust all over it. That's okay. <laughs> it is actually gonna be used for outdoor use. I love these baskets to put produce in. It'll be good, like Instagram pictures, stuff like that too. It had a dollar on the handle and two dollars here. I think they charged me two dollars. I I was kind of out of it then because Nevea was getting fussy and hungry. So I didn't really know what they charged me for it. Whatever, one or two dollars, not a big deal. Um, so I got this at the estate sale, this fun basket. And then I also found this candle holder for a larger candle. I want to replace my white painted one for this one as well. And it's got some patina on it as well. It was $1.50. Um, it was made in India, but oh, it was from Dayton's. <laughs> I didn't even look at the bottom. It was $10 originally um, from a department store. But whatever, it's kind of cool and these two candlesticks will be fun to have to add. And then at that estate sale as well, I found these little candlesticks. I don't know if I really like the color of this one, it's like a peachy color, it might work for summer. And then this one's like a cream, they were 25 cents a piece and I might use them, I might not. If not, it wasn't such a bad find. Okay, then I stopped at one more thrift store. Sometimes with a baby, I just found it's easier to stop at thrift stores because they have a ton of stuff. And instead of driving around looking for garage sales or using um, my phone app or something like that, and the thrift stores have quite a bit at the ones I stopped at. But the first thing I found at that thrift store was this um, canister. It says Wisconsin Pioneer. I'm not from Wisconsin or anything, but I thought it was cute. And I'll probably display it without the lid. It does have a seal in it and backwards. So the Wisconsin Pioneer is to the back. I really like these um, type of canisters. It'll be cute maybe with some cut flowers in it. I don't know. Um, and that was 75 cents. All right, and the next find was also kind of like a I want it, so I'm gonna get it. I, I just kinda had that kind of a day when I was out thrifting this last time. And it is this copper tea kettle. This was $3 and I was so excited to find it. 
I have been really enjoying the vintage rustic look lately. I've been watching some like homesteaders and they have these in there. It has some, um, what do you call it? The green when it starts to get worn and on the outside anyways. The inside looks decent. I don't know if I want to use it or not. Uh, I don't know if it's safe to use it. Maybe if I really work on cleaning it up, but I just love this like ivory handle and the lid and the spout and the shape and I just think it's so adorable and for three dollars I couldn't pass it up even if it's just to display on my stove top. I think this is such a fun find. Well that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it and um, give this a thumbs up for thrifting and yard sailing. Let me know in the comments below where you think I should put some of those things I found that I just kind of randomly bought. And if you're new, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube community. But I am going to let you go and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.